Hey, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Ant. She made her first appearance in the self-titled Ant, issue number one, in March of 2004. Her real name is Hannah Washington, and she has brown eyes and black hair. As the Ant, Hannah possesses considerable superhuman strength, speed, agility, and reflexes, having comparable abilities to what an ant could do if it was human size. She can also stick to various surfaces, allowing her the ability to wall crawl. Ant has an exoskeleton, similar to insects, and that functions as a very durable body armor that can wear down, but it can be replenished. She also has long, whip-like antenna that give her extremely enhanced senses, and they can also be used as bladed weapons. Now, the Ant character is centered around Hannah, who at different points appears to be eight years old, a teenager, and then an adult. Due to this, it's one of those unique storylines that could be happening within the character's mind or in a possible future or alternate timeline. Her origin starts off showing her as a lonely and bullied eight-year-old girl at school. Her dad, who was a trained accountant but was working as a blue-collar employee, was made a suspect in an armed robbery, and he was then taken into custody. It's then shown that to escape the harsh realities of life, Hannah tends to write in a diary about an alter ego adult version of herself who's a superhero named Ant. It's portrayed that she knows a lot more about the world than she should for a girl her age, and she seems to have the mind of an emotionally unstable young adult. One day she accidentally drops her diary, and it's picked up and read by her friend Steven, who later returns it to her. He saw that in her story that he was Gadget Man, and he helped her in the fight against an enemy called Cockroach. We then jump back to the supposed real world, and Hannah's dad was then released from custody. But eventually their home was raided, and the investigators apparently got the evidence they needed to lock him away. While this was happening, Hannah was shown foaming at the mouth and having a seizure on the floor. Now, the son of the man that Hannah's father allegedly killed was very rich and influential, and he pushed for the death penalty, which would normally be too severe of a punishment for the facts of what happened, but his social status got him what he wanted. Hannah's dad was eventually sentenced to death. We later see that Hannah's mom, named Betty, who had left many years ago, ended up making an unwelcome step back into Hannah's life. This was initially just because Hannah's dad had asked her to, but after she came across Hannah's diary and read it, she came to the conclusion that it was a mistake for her to leave in the first place. We now flash back to the ant, who is engaged in battle with Cockroach, but she's being badly beaten and ends up losing her exoskeleton. Laying in defeat, she's rescued by her friend Steven, aka Gadget Man, who ends up giving her a can of a substance that helps her recharge her blood sugar and thus regenerate her exoskeleton. She then engages Cockroach again, and this time she beats him. Hannah later goes on to get information using the ant to clear her father's name. It's shown that the murdered man's son, which happens to be Hannah's mother, Betty's rich lover, was actually the one who did it. But he himself is taken out by the police when he's about to kill Betty, who had discovered that he was guilty. Hannah was excited about her parents getting back together, but this joy was cut short when she was told by a policewoman that it was impossible for the ant to have helped Hannah. And as the little girl desperately explains that the ant is who she would be in the future, she blacks out. When she wakes up, she's shown as a teenager in a straitjacket, possibly being confined in a sanitarium. The news of her awakening sparks a visit from her mother, who's sad to inform her that her father has passed away. This is devastating to Hannah. She's later shown escaping and leaving behind one of the cans that she used to regenerate her exoskeleton. She goes on to have adventures with other superheroes like Spawn and Savage Dragon, but one day she's abruptly shown waking up as an adult in a mental institution. This time she's told that all of her memories were the result of a coping mechanism called juvenile power fantasy. But this doesn't seem quite right because bit by bit, her fantasies as the ant are becoming more and more real. Now, due to her powers and abilities and her influence on the Image Comics universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Ant a rating of 6, which is an expert rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to The New Sage.